In the last century, music technologies brought us a new palette of sound and new ways of listening to and creating these sounds. One of the influential music composers of the 20th century wrote that he dreams of, of instruments obedient to thought that will lend themselves to the exigencies of his inner rhythm. Now, 80 years later, I'm taking his idea of uh, music obedient to thought very literally by incorporating physiological measurement of cognitive and affective state into my performance practice as a flutist and electronic musician. a response to Verez uh, coming from the 21st century would be this. I dream of a music that is subtle, generative, responsive, and affectively aware, open to contemplation, that meets the listener at the level of their ambient awareness and brings them well-being. In pursuit of these creative goals, I've pursued a path of research with colleagues from University of California, San Diego, MIT, and Singapore University of Technology and Design that uses neuroscientific methods to understand further the nature of affective response to music and new technologies to generate uh, engaged experiences in music. My colleagues at UCSD and I developed a novel uh, experimental paradigm to probe the nature of affective response to music and new ways of co-analyzing motion capture data with EEG data. We found an area of uh, synchronization in the EEG data when listeners attempted to communicate musical feeling to an, an imagined partner, which showed us that musical uh, communication very literally puts us into the minds and hearts of those around us. Now with this um, further understanding of how music engagement is reflected in physiological data, no, we're now developing new brain music interfaces with the, with the uh, goal of targeting the link between cognitive and uh, uh, cortical arousal and physiological arousal that goes awry in conditions such as ADHD and epilepsy. And in this way, we're, um, we're hoping to use the power of music not only to engage but also to heal. My name is Grace Leslie, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at MIT and SUTD.